What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so, first is first, guys. I just want to say thank you for having all the patience in the world for me. I know that I've taken a week off just to make these videos happen, and trust me, guys, I'm. It's it's been a success. I've <laughs> spent all my time on this vacation just recording videos, taking Taking some time just chilling and relaxing and just getting ready for work again and all that stuff. And this right here is a nice week to just get these videos off and all that stuff. Without this week, this wouldn't have happened. So, anywho, in our last episode, we actually got to take care of a few Dynamaxing Pokemon. Well, one, a Serena. And now it is time for us to actually go into the next two places where we're going to be seeing some Dynamax Pokemon. A situation in Holberry and one in Motostoke. Now we are close to. Let's see. We gotta take the. Gotta take a look at this. So since we already covered a few things in the last episode in both the Galar Mine and in Motostoke, it's you know it's best to have for us to actually go straight to Motostoke right here and take care of the situation. Now we will be seeing a Fire type Pokemon right here. So it's best for you to get your best water type right here. So let's see. What kind of Pokemon do I have? Okay, so of course Michelangelo is going to be the main man for this job right here. So let's go ahead and take care of business. Because business is good. Now, there is quite a few things that uh, that happens. Uh, well, hold on. Did I just see a sparkly thing? Yes, we did. Okay. There is a quite a few things that actually changes after you uh, you uh, you win the Pokemon League. You go straight into the if you go straight into the Pokemon uh, area, the wild area right here. There's gonna be a lot of changes, like in the the amount of points you get and all that stuff. I'll explain that in a little bit, but right now let's take care of business with the whole Moto Soak incident. So there is something going on, and here is Kabu, and he's like Champion Draven and Piers and Hop too. Mr. Kabu, I'm glad you remember me. Of course I do. You got your ass beat by these sword and shield guys. <laughs> of course I remember you. You two were red hot after all. I'll never forget seeing you off after you competed, uh, completed your first leg of the Pokemon League challenge. Don't think we're really. Uh, don't think we really got time for a friendly chin wag. Right. Actually, the situation is getting pretty bad over here at the stadium. Yeah, that's that'd be why we're here. Ah, brilliant. The opponent's a bit much to, to, to take on single-handedly, so I was wondering what to do. But with all uh, with you all up at my side, my confidence in this battle is burning brighter in the minute. By the minute, I should say. Let's begin. Okay. Alrighty. I'm feeling uh, strong. Stronger than usual and all that crud, so here we go. Let's get it. We're taking on another Gigantamax Pokemon, and it is in Motosaka. Look at this. It's a big old Torkoal. Big, big old Torkoal. So, <sighs> Raphael, Mi Michelangelo, Michelangelo, Raphael, look at that. I knew this would happen someday. And it's finally going to happen right here. So, let's go right ahead and Dynamax our Pokemon and let's get with the Max Geyser attack right here. Now, we do, we do have quite a few water type Pokemon here, so this will actually benefit all of us. So, let's go ahead and have all our Pokemon grow. So there it is. Grow, buddy. Grow. Grow! Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get this. Okay. So here we go. Michelangelo is looking like a beast, and here he comes out with a Max Geyser attack. Oh, yeah. And it takes a nice chunk out of Torkoal's uh, power right there. And because of that, it starts raining, and now we got some water type Pokemon's uh, powers increase. And here we have Hops and Teleon getting that boost, so that is super effective. Here comes a Throw Chop. Don't know why you're using that. Okay, and here comes a Crunch Attack. And well, Torkoal is going to be using that Max Flare and Scent to Scorch prevents any Fire type moves. So that actually helps us out right there. So let's go again and finish this guy off with a Max or Max Geyser Attack right here. Look at this. Max Geyser for the win. Say goodbye to Torkoal. Oh, yes. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was very simple. Very easy. Very, very easy. Okay, so look at this. 
Looks like we were able to extinguish things this time. I'll let this Pokemon rest here at Motostoke Stadium until it gets its energy back. Ah, and Draven, should you ever need my help, please do not hesitate to ask. There we go, another rare lead card. And, well, don't worry, I know. You all have uh, more work to, uh, that needs to be done, yes? Go forward, youth. I wish you well. Okay. So that is uh, mission number one right there. Now, the second mission, we have to actually go back into, uh, let's see. We have to go back into Holberry right here. So let's go ahead and not go into the Pokedex right here. Let's see. We got to go straight into the town map. And let's head into... Let's go into Route 5 right here. Now, the reason why I'm taking routes before... Well, I'm taking routes before the actual town is because I don't want to miss anything. If you guys remember, this is where we actually found uh, a, quite a few good Pokemon. We found a daycare right here, and this is where we actually got our, uh, what was it, our Blitzkrieg. And from there, we got into this bridge right here. There's a wild area, and we're, are you talking about yellow goons? I understand you're on. Okay, never mind. We already talked about this. So, yeah, I'm just making sure that I pick up on every single little thing before, you know... We, we, we complete this whole thing and well look at that look at the vision right here the the view so we are in for a nice surprise once we go back into the wild area guys because there are a lot of things that just pop up after you win the Pokemon League I cannot wait to go there look at that look at look at the view it's just beautiful Definitely a lot of a lot of different Pokemon that you'll be able to find. A lot more points to ever uh, to be able to like to obtain and all that stuff. So let's see. There's some other Pokemon right here. We've already defeated you guys. Again, I am just looking over just to make sure that I don't miss a single thing. And here we are going into Holberry. And if I remember correctly, Holberry is the home of one of our girlfriends, one of our gym leader girlfriends. The well, the most beautiful one. And let's see, before we do anything, I kind of want to check out a little something right here. Is there anything we need to get in Holberry? No, not really. Not really. Okay, so let's go straight. Let's go straight to the Holberry gym and see what it's all about. Look at that. Super speed all the way. I'm here, baby. Oh, hold on just a sec. We need to get ready for this whole to uh, this whole thing too. So let's go ahead and put Blitzkrieg in, because I have a feeling that we have a Pokemon that we're gonna be very, 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 very familiar with. Okay, so uh, hello there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Don't get too close, you lot. This uh, things are pretty dangerous here. We know the situation. Are the staff inspect spectators all right? Yes, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at uh, uh, the more I look at the, uh, you three, the more I see the odd a, a little or how odd a little group you are. <laughs> Leave us alone. We came here to help you out, and I'm grateful for it. That Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense. I'm sure it'd give me some trouble. I feel a lot more confident about about it if you all join the battle. Hmm. Whatever you say, baby. God damn, she looks beautiful. Let's do it! Good God, she looks... Mm. May I May I just say that Nessa is just... Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful as always. Look at her. And would you look at that. We're going to be taking on a Gyarados right here. So, quadruple damage for the win. Let's go right ahead and get intimi intimidated. Because, yes, you know, our special Pokemon... Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to not... Yeah, they're not going to be effective against this guy, I guess. Okay, let's do this. Maximum effort. Let's get it. Let's go for it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and Dynamax this whole thing and go for a Max Lightning onto this Gyarados. Now, remember, Gyarados is both a flying and water-type Pokemon, so that should be easy enough for if you do have an Electric-type Pokemon right here. So here we go. Let's get it. Grow, grow, and grow. Look at this. We got ourselves the Rockstar Blitz Squeak Foot Mode. And, well, let's see. Let's see what tax first. Of course, Max Geyser is going to come in for the win. And it's going to hit our Dreadnought right here. But 
You know what? It likes it like that because now that it's raining, it's giving us a little bit of a boost for water types and electric types. So here comes Inteleon with a snipe shot. Not so effective. Here comes Blitzkrieg with max lightning. And this one wipes it out. Just like that. <laughs> That's right. I'm showing off for the girlfriend right here. I am showing off for her. And, well... Unfortunately, there goes a Gyarados. Holy crud. Because of everyone's help, no one was hurt, and the and we were able to turn the tide on the situation. I'll keep that Pokemon at Holberry until it can fully recover. Draven, if you ever need my help, just let me know. Have you guys noticed how she said it to me? I mean, mm, 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 mm. I, I'm just looking at Nessa right now, and I'm just like, good god. The beauty. Anywho, we get ourselves a rare card. Mm hmm. And well, I suppose I'll see you later then. Thank you so much for your help, truly. Whatever you say, baby. Well, after defeating these guys, we get a little bit of a call. Beep, beep, beep. What's going on here? What's going on here? And well, hey, Draven, that's your Rotom phone ringing, right? Draven, we've got trouble. Those two weirdos showed up at the Pokemon Lab. What? Sonya, you all right? They keep really demanding I hand over the wishing stars. I'm I'm all right for now, but get over here quick, okay? These guys are really or these guys are right creepy. Right creepy. I can't I can't even say that right. What are those two doing going after wishing stars? We've got to stop and help Sonya get back to the rest uh, the rusted shield. Okay, calm down, Turbo. Remember the last time you took on these guys? They beat you. Yeah. Well, let's hurry to the Pokemon Lab. And, well, of course, Pierce is like, well, he really doesn't think anything through. Sure does make him seem like a proper fool. Yeah. You're preaching to the crowd, man. You're preaching to the crowd. So, yeah. Nah, I guess the word would be reckless. He is very reckless. <sighs> well, we're headed to the Pokemon Lab, right? Guess I'll stick by until we see, we see this through, right? Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and uh, complete this little issue over at the lab. Now, this you this this right here is the battle portion of the whole situation. And like I said uh, an episode or two ago, I am not going to showcase every single battle between these two guys. I'm only going to show one of them because, of course, uh, they usually they, they they pretty much use the same Pokemon on every single thing. So. Let's go straight back to Wedgehurst and, uh, well, save our girlfriend Sonya from, uh, doing anything bad. Or, you know, save our girlfriend because she's in trouble right now. A maiden in distress. And, well, let's see. Before we do anything, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Quackor the Fowl right here. And... Let's see. Let's go right over here. And here we are back into the lab and see what the hell is going on. Why are you messing with my fair lady? We know all the wishing stars. Chairman Rose has got it right here. We celebrities have an enhanced level of insight into such things. You non-celebrities are not suited to having such valuable things. Hand them over to us. Wishing stars and being a celebrity have nothing to do with each other. I don't know how you knew about this, but there's no way we're giving it to you. That's right. You could never understand how important these wishing stars are. You have no need for them. Goodness. Whatever should we do, brother? It certainly, uh, it certainly seems we, we have been inconvenienced, older brother. <laughs> Sonya and the professor are the ones who've been inconvenienced here. Oh, wow. Hop. Oh, hop. How you doing? Forcing Pokemon into Dynamax against their wills? You've gone way out of bounds here. And I haven't forgot about the getting back to the Rusted Shield either. Well, well, well. I certainly thought the champion would come, but I didn't think a loser would follow. <laughs> must I, must I, or must I have you once again taste the flavor of a humiliating defeat? Please, please beat him again. Ugh. Don't let these good goons put you down. That's right. You lost the battle, but you don't lose a rockin' spirit. Right. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna fight them together. I'm just gonna be steady on. Draven, thanks, mate. First things first, let's get these weirdos out of here. W weirdos? Oh, how they wound me, older brother. To be called a terrible thing such as weirdos by these ruffians. Indeed, to address royals such as ourselves in such a manner cannot and will not be forgiven. This time, I brought much stronger Pokemon to thoroughly trounce you with. Okay, so here we go, guys. It is a double battle between... Well, mo mainly me and uh, Dickhead and, uh, well, you know, this guy right here. So here we go, Shilbert and coming out with a Bronzong while, well, Dickhead right here is coming out with a, well, yeah, Galissapod. So word. So here it is, coming out with a proper Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Time to use a Brave Bird, destroy this guy right here. So here we go, double edge, hitting a Pokemon that it will not beat. So here we go, double, getting some damage. So here comes Quack or the Foul using Brave Bird attack. Say goodbye to Lissapod right here. And I'm just looking at this kid, I'm just like, this is how you beat him, okay? Seriously, man. And look at this, Godzilla, Godzilla is growing levels again, and well, here comes the extra sensory. That is going to hit my Pokemon. Don't worry, I will get back. I will get vengeance right here. And well, here he comes with a Dew Blade. So let's go with Meteor Assault. Finish off this Bronzog right here. But here comes a double edge attack again from this guy. Yeah. Seriously, why are you. Yeah, why are you. Yeah, whatever. Anywho, let's go ahead and use this Meteor Assault. Look at that. And it takes out Bronzong. One, two, three. Look at that. Okay, so that's two for me. What about you, man? Why aren't you helping me out? So Dewblade right here is gonna go with an Iron Head. That hits me pretty hard. And here she, or here he comes out with a Phalanx. And well, here comes a double edge attack, going straight for the Phalanx. And double right now it is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Double is taking a lot of crap right now just because, look at that, look at that. It takes the close combat. So seriously, bro, you got to come out with the proper Pokemon. So here comes a Sacred Sword attack, and that takes care of my Quackor. Okay, all right. <clears throat> You've awakened the beast. Let's go. Okay, so what is a good Pokemon for both these assholes? Let's go. Hmm. I could go for this guy right here. Yeah, I could go for that guy. You know what? Let's go with our good old boy, Optimus Prime, right here. So here comes Corvin Knight. And, well, let's go with Optimus Prime. See what it can do. Alrighty, so let's see what happens right here. So we're at level 80. And, well, let's go straight for a boom burst. And let's hit everybody. Let us hit everybody right here. It doesn't affect Dewblade, but guess what? We're going to hit everybody we see, and there goes Phalanx. That's another one for me. I am not letting Hop get a victory over us right here. Look at that. Godzilla grows to level 34. Corviknight using his scary face attack. Yeah, seriously. Is that going to do... What's that going to do? Seriously. So here comes a Shadow Claw. Kicking the crap out of Corviknight right here. And here comes another Pokemon, a Kling Clang. So now we're facing two Steel Tap Pokemon right here. And, well, let's go with a Body Press. Let's go on to the Clean Clang. Body Press for the win. And, well, I guess there's the opening we need. But here comes a Shift Gear. And this one will increase the speed of Clean Clang. So, oh, crap. It's going to be faster and scarier. And here comes another scary uh, face attack. And, wow. Okay, so it brings back down the whole thing right here, but here comes a Shadow Claw. Seriously, Hop, you're not doing... This is the reason why you lose. This is the reason why you lose, because you're not... You're going strategic instead of just going with the Brute Force right here. So here we go. That is number four for me. What now? That is number four. And Godzilla Godzilla to level number 35, and here comes Brave Bird from... Uh, well, from Corviknight, and it doesn't do much. And just like that, here comes a Shadow Claw. 
finishes off Corviknight. <laughs> oh my god, Hop, you... Oh my god. Oh my god, Hop, you are useless. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon. Let's go straight to Baconator right here, and... Let's just finish this, uh, this guy's last two Pokemon. He does still have two more Pokemon left. So, what's up, Baconator? Here comes a Snipe Shot. Can it do it? Will it do it? And, wow! <laughs> so that's number one. It's about damn time. You know, you could have done that. You could have done that, but you didn't. So here comes Bisharp. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Burn-Up Attack and finish this guy off. So here comes a Snipe Shot. And, bam! Hits him hard. Here comes Baconator for the win. So that's five. Five to one right there. I'm looking at Hop and it's like, look, I took care of the rest. You got lucky with one. It is what it is. So here it is, burning it out. And bam, Godzilla grows to level 36. And yes, sir, yes, sir. It's quite Vixie predicament indeed, older brother. <laughs> Surely this must, have, uh, uh, this must be some kind of mistake, wouldn't you say, younger brother? Okay, so look at that. We are victorious yet again, and, well, the vi the biggest victory right here is this. Godzilla Godzilla finally evolving into its final form, the best form, because when we Dynamax this guy now, it will have the best kind of kind of Dynamax form, same kind of form that, you know, Leon has, and, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. So, look at this Pokedex entry. Charizard. The fire and flying type Pokemon, five foot seven, one hundred and ninety nine and a half pounds of pure freaking awesomeness. It spits fire that is hot enough to melt boulders. It may cause forest fires by blowing flames. Yeah, buddy. And because it evolved, it is learning a new move, Air Slash. So let's go right ahead and take care of uh, this whole thing right here. Let's go ahead and take away Fire Fang since it really doesn't need it much. And, well, look at this. Very diverse Pokemon. Charizard finally learned Air Slash right there. So, what happens to these guys? I did it! We won! We really won! Hop. You didn't do anything except just beat one friggin' Pokemon. Okay? You didn't do anything. I did, okay? So, get that straight. The exquisite Pokemon we train actually lost! <laughs> You only won because uh, you two teamed up. Still, we offer you reference our praise. Oi! The two of you teamed up too! Give back the Rusted Shield and stop forcing Pokemon to go all crazy! Uh, sorry, is this a bad time? My apologies for the intrusion. Those men are dangerous. Be careful! T -t 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 well done. Your infiltration mission was a resounding success. It seems, right? Have you gathered uh, the wishing stars? Yes, thanks. Thanks to Master Swordward and Shieldbird. Buy me so much time. Oh, damn. Okay, so there's a swerve right there. So the assistant happened to be uh, a little bit of a sleeper cell. A mole of some kind. What? Stop! Give those back! Oh, dear. It would seem we've been completely had. <laughs> Why, this moment is so sweet, I don't think I'll, I'll need any sugar in my tea later. Our battle with you is just a little trick. We won before you even grabbed a single ball. And with that, farewell. Stop! Why? Professor Sonia, I'm sorry. Was everything, was it all a lie? Right from the start? There was no helping it. It was necessary for the plan. Our plan to put Galar under control of the royal lineage once again. Wow. Now that was a swerve right there. And well, she's going to go to a corner and start crying. How dare you, besmirch. My, my lady. I'm going to go straight to her and see what's up. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Now I'm mad. Somebody besmirch my lady Sonia. So I'm going to go kick some ass now. So, stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. There's going to be a lot of ass-kicking because somebody besmirched my lady right here. Not only that, but we still have quite a few more Pokemon to go. And, well, in the next episode, too, we're going to have two different kinds of versions of, uh, of Pokemon. 
We're going to be going straight to Hammerlock and then Stone Side for the two different types of Pokemon that you will try to encounter once you get there. And then, uh, well, we'll see what happens at the very end right here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.